Welcome to SkyTech Enterprise Solutions. In today's video, we'll take a look at Power Apps and some of the automated features that come with AI or artificial intelligence. Let's get into it. As you can see, I'm logged into my Power Apps um, <clears throat> application inter interface. So if you look to the uh, left-hand side here, you'll see the these links that I've pinned to my um, left-hand side uh, menu. Um, and then also down here, you'll see apps that I've built or created. And in the middle here, you'll see the section that's basically showing you how um, other ways to create an app, right? So you can start with data. You can begin with page design, or you can um, start with an app template. As I mentioned earlier in today's video, we're going to use some of the features that come with artificial in intelligence. And I'll just uh, increase my font here. You'll see that, you know, we have this text here that basically tells us that this feature uses generative AI, right? So we'll click on C terms. And um, here we're getting some information that data processing and scrutiny 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 um so these are just product terms that appeared after i clicked on that link um, but we'll tab back to our power apps interface and we have options here right so let's build an app what should it do do you want to collect rsvps or do you want to track sales leads or list inventory or manage um, inspections? Well, I'll just go with the uh, track sales leads, okay? And as you can notice, once you select an option, these, um, you know, basically what you click here appears in this area. Um, and then, uh, well, so let's go with tracking sales leads. Now I'm gonna hit this uh, go button here and let's see what AI does. As you can see, AI is working on this uh, request, right? So it's created a table for tracking sales leads. We can see there's a, a lead ID, a lead name, lead source, the status of that, of that uh, lead, and as well as the amount, the value. So here it's saying, here's a table for your app. Why use a table? It's because when you see your app in a moment, the data in this table is what you'll see in the screen. So it's basically building your backend uh, for this application. Down here, you can make suggestions, um, change something to, you can add a column for, add a row, remove the row, change the data type, refresh the data, or give AI some more suggestions. Um, let's see here, describe what you want changed. All right, so let's see something we can do here. Um, are these clickable? They don't look like it. But here we can say, um, add a column for lead email address. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's see what happens. So again, AI is working on this. The sales leads table has been updated. Let's find out. Oh, there we go. So now we have a lead email address. This is awesome. So imagine you, you know, you're at work um, and you've been tasked with a, a project. Um, as soon as you have the business and functional requirements, I guess you don't even need everything. You just need the base. Um, you need something to be able to start. Obviously, as you continue to work on your project, things will change. There'll be a little bit of scope creep, et cetera. But here you can start with a solid table, right? And as you'll see, once we click on this create an app button, AI will actually build your backend as well as your front end. It's amazing. Uh, I did a couple of uh, projects uh, a few days ago and even the UI design was pretty impressive. 
Okay, so let's uh, go back to our table here. We have lead ID, lead name, lead source, lead status, um, lead value, lead email address. Uh, what else do we want to capture? Um, so we'll say add lead phone, phone number. Uh, we'll add some more uh, complexities here. So let's see what AI is um, able to do. Um, so we'll say lead phone number, lead um, well, they're all in. I was going to add lead division, but these are all sales guys. So that's about it. Um, you know what? Yeah, that that's enough, right? We, we're just trying to prove a point here. Add lead phone number. That's good enough. So I click on that. So as you can see here, this is I'm chatting with AI. I'm chatting with Copilot, right? Sales leads table has been updated. Basically, it's like so, so I'm going to go over here and give AI a thumbs up. Uh, not now. Thumbs up, not now. So as we can see, we have a, a new column here, which is our, our phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and just create the app. Um, the, up here, it looks like you can you can edit table properties, which is really cool. So let's see. You can change the name. Well, yeah, it looks like you should be able to. Advanced properties. And so it looks like this will be a Dataverse back, um, back end. So it's not going to be a SharePoint list. This will be a Dataverse table. All right. Create app. Let's see what happens. So here, I'm going to pause this video until this is, oh, look at that. I was going to pause the video until AI finish, finish creating this app, but it looks like I don't need to do that. I mean, AI is, who knows, it probably heard me and was like, wait a minute, dude. We're building this in real time. No need to pause um, your video. So I'm not going to touch this app. Now it's completed. Uh, start customizing, see a preview, that's not necessary, as you can see. All right, so everything looks good. I'm going to hit save. What do you want to do? Describe what you want to do with this app, and AI will do it for you. Hmm. Well, for now, I th I'm not even sure what else to do. So basically, uh, well, we'll go ahead and play this app and see what it looks like so if i go and click on jane smith mike johnson sarah williams david brown i mean this is amazing right you have your header your title you can edit a record you can delete a record you can add a new record you can search a record so if i go in here and i type sarah right so that's also happening i can type in jane that works i can create a new app uh, a new record and here we'll say uh one of my favorite characters i'm sure someone likes homer homer simpson at uh abc.com that's his email address uh, is Homer qualified, I guess. Um, value of Homer's lead, we'll say 25,000. Uh, and then here we'll say Homer Simpson. Right, so phone number is um, 000, 000000000. That's appropriate for Homer. Now, lead ID, gosh, you know, this should be auto-populating. Maybe that's what, that's one thing I can ask AI to do next. All right, so we'll just go ahead and do this 006, lead source, and we'll just go by social media. 
and I'll hit OK here or save or just check button, check icon. And Homer Simpson has been added here. Uh, I can type in Homer and I get Homer Simpson, right? So, so there's got to be a way to like uh, clear this field. So that's something I'll add later. But look, this works. This thing is great. And um, we're going to close this preview. You can also test. Yeah, I know that. Dude, stop telling me this stuff every day. All right, let's look at what our interface looks like, okay? So here we have our main screen. And then underneath that, we have our container, container, container. See, I, I like I like doing this, right? You have AI build this app for you, and then you come back here and see what's under the hood of these apps. So you have that, your data source. Uh, but I, I like how AI has um, <clears throat> the layout, how this is all laid out. It's really simple, straightforward. Um, you know, it's not like you're even dealing with multiple screens. It's just one screen, you have a little partition here and everything shows, right? Alternatively, you can have a form, like a big form, as one screen <clears throat> and then once you submit it goes into the back end so there's a gallery right but you can have the gallery on another screen or it could be a data table depending on on what you want all right so there we go this is ai in in, in action um obviously we can click in here and start making changes right so this one right here is going by the data source name, right? So we can say, um, you know what? I'll I'll leave it. I'll leave it as is. Yeah, this is really cool stuff. So that's it for today. Our video basically walked through how you can use AI's capabilities to create an app. Um, and this is basic, right? You can. These are simple apps, but when you have levels of complexity. You can still use AI to help out a little bit, but um, this is functional. I mean, I, this is totally useful. You can obviously make changes, you know, down the road if you want to. But um, yeah, this is a good start. You know, this uh, Copilot, it's got some uh, some cool features to it. All right. I will see you in the next video where we'll try out another Copilot app. Uh, we'll keep making these apps till uh, we run out of uh, templates to, to make apps out of. All right. See you in the next video.